morning everyone. Thank you for joining us. Let's all bow down to Shamataji, raise our Kundalini and put ourselves into Bandhan. Vami Vasaksha Shri Maha Lakshmi Maha Saraswati Maha Shri 
This morning's talk is uh, from 1994 and it's called Detachment is the Only Way You Can Rise. In Sahaja Yoga, we have never tried to overcome the desires by taking sannyasa or running away from the house or for uh, all kinds of things that are being suggested. The first thing that is done is that you get the light of your spirit. Spirit is the reflection of Sadashiva. In that light He shows, He is just showing the path. The Spirit is just like a light which is burning and which is showing the path. In that path you yourself become so wise that you walk in the light of wisdom, <clears throat> that you walk in the light of righteousness. Because whatever is destructive is seen through the light of your spirit. You start giving up all that is destructive. <clears throat> Nobody has to tell you that give up this, give up that. You yourself realize that this is wrong and we should give up. This was, I should say, my own understanding of human beings because these are the days where people are in complete illusions. They are in a conflict all the time, struggling even to exist. Under these circumstances everything would have failed if you had started with taking a sannyasa and then going to Himalayas and all that. If you have to do this for the masses, Something has to be done radical and luckily I've been able to find out a way by which you can get your sprouting, your realization. Now some people who get realization have to understand certain things because <clears throat> as you know there are many people who have got realization. I don't know how many, I don't keep count. But <clears throat> what is lacking in them is surrendering. It's embarrassing to say, but it's a fact. This is the only condition of modern Sahaja Yoga, that you have to really surrender. If you start using your brain if you start using other methods to understand Sahaja Yoga, you cannot. You must surrender. And <clears throat> as Islam is nothing 
but surrender. Islam means surrender. And if that surrender is not there, it is impossible to establish anyone in the kingdom of God. Surrender is not that you should give up your family, give up your children, or give up your houses and homes and your properties. Surrendering is here, give up your ego to begin with, and then give up your conditionings. But first thing, as I said, is surrendering. In surrendering, actually, you develop a kind of a state where I would say you become a sannyasi from within. That means nothing can dominate. What is a sannyasi is a person who is above everything else. Nothing can stick to him. He just uh, looks at things and he knows what it is. He may not say. He knows everything and he doesn't do whatever is wrong. He's so detached that in that detachment only he can see what's wrong with people. He starts seeing his family people, he starts uh, seeing other surroundings, everywhere he starts seeing what's wrong. And he does not identify with them. It's very surprising. It's, you see, it is so clear-cut that this life definitely gives you tremendous wisdom and balance. Supposing you are walking and you can't see the road, you may fall down. But if there's little light also, you can see it. And this is what Sir Yoga has done. He's given you very little light. That little light itself has been sufficient for you to give up so many things. So when we talk of ascent, we talk of a higher life, we have to become sannyasi, like the lotus that comes out of the pond and no water can stay on that. Even the leaves of lotus, no water can stay on that. Just like that we have to become. We don't have to wear sannyasis, dresses, nothing of that. But from inside, a kind of a detached attention is there, which immediately locates the problem within you and without. And also in Sahaja Yoga, you know how to overcome that. It's a very effective efficient system. But for that again, to achieve that, you have to become Shiva within, means detached. As Shiva is completely detached, you have to be detached. And that detachment will give you the same wisdom as Shiva has. So this is, is the quality one has to understand. Surrendering doesn't mean outside things to be surrendered. What is there? These are all stones. What are you surrendering? Surrendering means cleansing yourself completely, getting completely detached. Detachment is the only way you can rise Some people get sick, they make such an ado out of it. I'm sick, the whole world should know I'm sick, 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 sick. But if you are a Sahaja Yogi, you should just watch, oh, so I'm sick, all right, let's see. Just like a sport, just watch. I'm sick, so what's happening now, the temperature is coming nicely, it's going down, 
It just sort of a playful, mirthful attention. So the first thing of surrendering is important to reach the state of your spirit of Shiva and Sadashiva. But the second state is that you have to now think of others. First it is, as they say in Sanskrit, is Vyashti, means individual gain. You get the individual gain. And then it becomes Samashti, means the collective. You have to work it out on collective. People who never even got Realization, nothing of the kind have been doing so much organization and this and that. Why, you have got everything. So now it is important that you should now extend this light to others. Have some silent meditation.
I'll just say the morning prayer. May I this day be what you'd have me be. May I this day say what you'd have me say. May I this day be part and parcel of the whole. And may my thoughts be of a realised soul. May I this day have love for all mankind. Shri Mother, be in my heart and in my mind. We'll say the last mantra of the three great mantras. Om Twame Sakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahasrara Swamini Moksha Pradayini Mataji Shri Nirmala Devye Namu Namaha Jeshri Mataji, thank you for joining us this morning. When you're ready to finish your meditation, please bow down to Shri Mataji, raise your kundalini and put yourself into bandhan. And next week we can all look forward to Auntie Hetty coming back again and leading us with her beautiful accent. Jeshri Mataji, everybody, have a wonderful day.